Well, hello there friends and welcome to my video. I am Mickey B. Have we met? If not, it's nice to meet you. And if we have, it's always good to see you again. Today, I'm here with a Timu haul. I have several orders that I need to haul, but I think I'm going to start off with the largest one. And let me just show you how big this box is. Okay, I don't even know if it is possible to show you the full size of the box in my small little recording area, but let me try to give you an idea. Let's see, I don't wanna hurt myself or break something. Oops. Okay. That's enough of that. Okay, so you've seen how big the box is. So you can just imagine how much stuff is packed in there because you know how they pack things in these boxes. I don't know how they do it. I opened the box and kind of went through everything just to make sure and remember, make sure everything was there and then remember um, what I ordered. So, and I also didn't want to have to go through the whole unboxing thing on camera because that just takes up extra time. So I've got this big box right here next to me and I'm just reaching over and I'm going to pull stuff out and see how long we are here. Um, I'll probably stop at maybe 30 minutes unless I'm on a roll um, and then we'll have to do it in a couple of parts, but it's a lot of stuff in here. And then I have I think about five more small ones on the floor behind me and then two more coming and I think that's it. Now, most important thing, none of these are sponsored. However, I do have a sponsored one coming that will come after all of these that I haul, which is why I wanted to go ahead and get these going. So you guys can see this stuff while it's still there in case you wanted to purchase something. Now, the first item I'm pulling out is this item and you might say, what is this? Well, let me show you. And I'm gonna try to move fast through this because I don't want this to take too long with a lot of the opening and closing of things. So what this is, is that thing that you slide underneath your door to prevent drafts, or um, what I also like it for is to prevent um, little bugs and insects from coming in underneath your door. So you just take it and you slide this, your door fits in this slat right here and you slide it under your door. And then you block drafts on both sides with these two foam pieces on either side. So the inside is blocked, the outside is blocked and your door slides right down the middle. And it's great for the winter. And I feel like it's gonna be great in the uh, spring and summer because little insects start to come out and they can fit underneath your door and that's exactly what i don't want so i got these for i'll put the prices on the screen because i'm pretty sure the price was a great great deal as they all are and i ended up buying three of these because i have three doors where i'd like to put these where i feel the situation is a situation so I don't even want to guess because every time I try to guess what the prices are, I say it wrong. But I got three of these. So let me go ahead and move these three items out of the way. All right, the next thing I got. This is something I was trying to get all last summer and never had the opportunity to get them because they were always sold out. So I figure if I start early and I saw them early and I go ahead and purchase it, then I will have better luck this year. And I did. And these are those nice little cushion air sandal type shoes. They're very comfortable. Now I did manage to get some last year, but they were not the color black. I ended up getting pink and a white and I wanted to get a black one. So this year I got my black one and these shoes are very, very comfortable. They're great for um, summer, spring, when the weather's hot, if you're at the pool, because they're, I feel like they're a recycled plastic. You see, they have a lot of tread on the bottom of them and they are just very durable and very soft, very comfortable on your feet. So I was happy, very happy to get these. 
and I was glad I was able to get them early. And if this is something that you're interested in, don't be surprised if you see the prices start going up because I ended up getting mine on Amazon and I paid about uh, $9 for my three my two pair that i got my uh white ones and my pink ones and these were about somewhere in the vicinity of 385 382 something like that okay the next item i have is this little white helmet looking thing but what this actually is and i know a lot of you may have a use for this because this is something for the kitchen and it's something it's for something that people cook regularly i know we cook it a lot how do i open it here we cook it a lot which is why when i saw this i'm like i definitely have to get one because i know i will be using this and what it is is a little bowl for when you are cooking rice and you want to rinse it out and then you want to pour the water out but you don't want all the rice uh granules to fall down the sink like they always do if you don't do it right Ooh, put that in my hand so it has a nice little handle to grip it with like that. It looks like a little helmet, but it's the perfect size because rice, you know, even if you cook like two or three cups, it's gonna hold it all in this. It's a great size. You see how deep it goes? But the best part are these holes right here. So as you rinse it out, you just pour it like that and the water pours out and the rice stays in the bowl. So I had to get this and this was also a great deal. I try to find their products when they are at the lowest prices. So that means most likely you're gonna be on the site, um, you know, you're gonna have to go on the site, check it often so that you can see when these uh, lightning deals are occurring. The next item, speaking of lightning deals are, or is this, and I know a lot of people have uh, hauled this one. And this is the little basket that hangs around your sink, either in your bathroom or in your kitchen, wherever you, oops, wherever you prefer to put it. Hold on. Where'd it go? There go. Wherever you prefer to put it. So this just sits right in there in the part that just fell off like that. And you can put your uh, sponges, your towels, you can do toothbrushes, wash rags, wherever you put it, wherever, whatever wet item that you want to keep handy and, and not just have fall in the sink, you can put it in here and uh, wrap it around your sink. And here's the how it fastens here in the back. This keeps sliding down. Fastens like this in the back. Let's see. This goes here and then that folds over like that, over the loop. So that's how it fastens. And again, this keeps falling off for whatever reason. I think these were something in the area of 38 cents. And then they've gone up to like 298. So you just gotta watch those deals and catch them when they're uh, marked down because they constantly go up and down. That's one thing I've noticed on Timu. So you wanna pay attention to that. But I got it in pink, they had it in, uh, I believe gray as well. Those are the two that I remember off the top. Um, and I ended up getting two of them because I want one for the kitchen and I want one for my bathroom. So that was a great deal. And for 38 cents, you know, and I've seen this one go up and down several times. So if you see it right now and it says 298, just pause, come back later and it'll probably be knocked back down because they do rotate a certain number of these items I've noticed. So the next item I ordered was two of these little containers and they have little heart shaped or little flower shaped pieces of soap. So if you are out and about and you're traveling, it says it's got about a hundred pieces or is it 300? Uh, it doesn't say right off the bat, but I think it's like, 100 or 300 pieces or something in here. Now I'm gonna open it up and let you see closely what they look like. And if you take one of these, if you're traveling or if you're out, you know, just out in the world doing something, you take one of these little things, you wet it with water and you smush your hand around just like you are, you know, like you have a bar of soap. And it smells just like a piece of soap, but it, it feels like soap too, but it's like a, see if you can 
get a good idea of the texture. Anyways, these were neat. And I got one to keep in my purse and in my backpack or in my car and in my purse. But I got two of these, great deal. And look at how many you get. So this is something like if you're traveling, if you're out and about a lot, if you're with small kids, situations where you need to wash your hands, these are great to have, great to have, and they're gonna last a long time. And the fact that they come in this case, this portable case to keep with you is just another bonus. Now this item I had to refresh when I saw it. I'm like, I couldn't even remember what it was or why I bought it. I, why did I buy this? What is this thing? And it didn't really tell me on the packaging and I had to go back online and um, like refresh myself on what it was and why I bought it. And what it is, is if it's for your bathroom faucet, if it is, if it uh, curves like that and the water comes straight down, then you would take this and loop the, let's say my fingers, the faucet, loop the faucet, loop it over the faucet like this and then the water would come up. So it wouldn't come straight down, it'll come out so you can have a higher level of water coming from your sink so you don't have to bend over as low. Or you can use it if you have small kids and you can direct the water to um, be closer to them like when they're brushing their teeth. So I thought that this was great to have, especially in the bathroom. Now the next item, I bought two of these. And it is the little brush and the little brush, the silicone brush and the container, like if you wanna sauce up your food, if you're barbecuing, um, this is of course great for sauces. And the lid comes off and the brush is attached so it doesn't come off so you can't lose it. It slides up to this ridge right here, but it doesn't slide off. And um, like I said, it's great for sauces because it, the container, you can put your sauces in here, close it up like that. And then you've always got your brush and your sauce. You know how sometimes when you put things out and people take a brush and you don't, they don't put it back where it goes. So this will prevent all of that if you, you were having an outing or something. Um, I got it in blue and pink. And the other reason that I got this, or one of the main reasons I got it, is to use for when you're baking and you have to oil like your cookie sheets or your, your bread pans, or if you're cooking something in a frying pan and you need to grease it, put a little oil all around versus just squirting a big blob and trying to roll it around. If you just wanted to do a thin layer, you can keep your oil in here and then use the brush to oil things. So that's one of the main reasons that I like these to have in my kitchen. But I'm sure people can think of tons of more uses to use it for, but that's what I got it for. Boy, this is overwhelming, but fun at the same time. You know, this is kind of rekindling uh, back when I was younger, back in college. Um, I was like a gadget girl. I loved gadgets and my friends used to always tease me. They're like, everything, every time something new comes up, you always go and buy it. Cause I just loved little gadgety type things. So Timu is really reopening up that little instinct, that little gadget uh, urge, I should say, that I had back in the day. But this next item um, definitely is useful. And I like how they package everything in little containers as much as possible, especially since they cram them so much into these packages. But it comes in this little Ziploc bag. And what it is, is a charger. I got it in pink, of course. And it is a charger that gives you three USB ports instead of just the one. And this is gonna come in handy so much for me. I bought two of these, the other one's in this box somewhere, but I bought two of these and I'm sure, I know I'm not the only one who could use something like this because one charger per item, it's like, first of all, you don't need to have a million chargers if you can just have one that get three in one swoop. So I was really happy to find that and stop, and I had to, I could stop hunting down where did I put my charger? And I can just have three items um, charging at the same time. Now, along those lines, uh, this is an item that has five pieces of cord, cord, what is the word? They manage your cords, but what do they call them? I don't know, I'll have to put it on the screen. 
but there's five pieces in here and they're color coded or the six pieces my bad there's six pieces in here and they're color coded so if you have like on my computer right now as i'm sitting and i see cords everywhere and i don't know what cord is for what you can color coordinate so if you had to unplug something if you were having some work done on them you know which one to go to by the color that it is and you just stick this uh like you stick this around the cord like that. You can go this way, I guess. Stick the cord in there. And then this, and it's silicone. So this sticks through the loop like that. So it stretches and it'll hold the cord. And it gives you uh, adjustable ability. So if it's a skinnier cord or a wider one, then you can adjust it accordingly. Plus it does have some stretch to it. So I love that you get six of these. So you can now write down what color is on what cord. So you're not guessing when you need to unplug something or if you just need to get your cords organized in an organized manner uh, along your computer and you know your electronics areas. This next item here three pieces and they are the three piece funnel set this is for the kitchen green blue and pink and I know a lot of people have called these because it is such a great deal and these are handy to have in your kitchen whenever you need to pour something into something um, you definitely want to have options in which to do so and it's nice to have more than one so they start off flat like this and it is a funnel and you just pop it open like a lot of the foldable type sil silicone type products and it's nice and small so if you're doing like coffee or spices or anything small enough to fit through that hole um, then this is perfect for that and then it folds back down like that it comes in a set of three so I got the green the pink and the blue so I didn't have to decide this time that was kind of nice so what I found every time I saw this um, offering, they would only let you buy one because if I'm not mistaken, I paid, uh, I want to say 28 cents for all three. It was something very reasonable as you would imagine. So, but there was a maximum of one for that particular item. Here's my second uh, charger that had the three USB ports. So I can sit that over there. And here's my second pack of cable organizers that had the six pieces. So next I have this item and I'm curious to see how this is going to work. This was advertised as the brush that you can use to scrape off the bottom of frying pans when they get that, not rust, but like that buildup from cooking over time. And this is supposed to, oh, this is flying away there. This is supposed to allow you to scrape that off. So I'm not sure if that's like a sandpaper, but I'm looking forward to using this because I have a nice set of, oh, it's rough too. It feels like sandpaper, honestly, like a version of sandpaper. So it, it does have roughage. So I imagine it's going to clean something off because it definitely, I wouldn't put it on my hand because I feel like I would draw blood. I would scrape skin off and draw blood. It is that, uh, abrasive but it's supposed to allow you to clean your frying pans and get all of that built on or built up rust looking stuff on the bottom of the pan from the oil and the you know the built built up oil from the use of cooking and whatnot so I look forward to trying that out and seeing if it really does because that set of silver uh, frying pans I think it's a simply Ming set of frying pans and they're really pretty but they're getting all that little silver kind of build up on it so that's why i got that and i'm hoping that that's going to work so the next item i got was this uh also for the kitchen and it is this now this is something i'm hoping is going to work the way i'm hoping it should work and this is the uh mister for olive oil it says edible oil spray bottle. That's what it says right there, edible oil spray bottle. So it comes, now it's not as tall as I thought it was gonna be based on the picture, but they wrap it in bubble wrap. And then it is glass though. I thought it was gonna be plastic, but it's glass. 
and I like the nice shiny color. And when I mash the button at the top, it's a nice big wide button. It feels like it's gonna work nicely, like it's not gonna stick and be stuck like a lot of cheap plastic bottles are. And it is a good size actually for oil. And I'm hoping it's going to mist because I have one now that squirts and I don't want to squirt. I want a mister because the whole point is to try and use as little amount of oil as possible. So that's what I'm hoping this one does. I bought two of these and the other one is in that box somewhere. But I bought two of these because number one, I thought it was going to be bigger than this. And number two, I thought it was going to be plastic. And number three, I bought that second one because I thought I was going to use it when I want to uh, moisturize my hair because it's great to have a mister when you're moisturizing your hair when you're a natural hair person. So we'll see how that works out. Um, this next item right here is for lettuce and it's to shred your lettuce. So if you have like taco night and you know you want to cut your lettuce up in small pieces or just long skinny pieces this is supposed to be to allow you to be able to do that so you're supposed to let's see this has some kind of grit on it so i don't know about that see that looks dirty i'll have to check and see if that washes off or whatnot but what it is is a shredder so you're supposed to be able to cut like a, a lettuce in half I don't have anything to make shift but like let's say my hand was half a lettuce and you should be able to do like that and it would just shred the lettuce make shredded lettuce basically for whatever reason or you could do it with cabbage I, I have a cabbage dish that I make and I like the pieces cut small so you see it's at that slant so when you go down it's just going to shred it I believe this top blade might have some little serrated parts in there to allow it to shred but on the picture that I'll put up, you can see how the lettuce or the cabbage, whichever one is in the picture, is looking shredded as it slides down. So that's what I got this for, for taco night and for my uh, cabbage dish that I make. I like those types of uh, items or food items cut in small pieces but I don't want to sit there all day and have to do it the slow way. So if this will help me speed that process up, then I'm all for it. Another kitchen item is this, uh, it looks like an Afro pick, like black power, power to the people, but it's not that. <laughs> it is uh, for cutting uh, onions, for slicing an onion. And this thing is good quality. If I'm not mistaken, this was either 18 cents or 19 cents. And look at the cute little heart cut out inside of it. Now this is a cover that slides off like that. And then they've got these sharp prongs that you stick into the onion and then you slice. The, if you want onion slices and you stick your knife in there and you slice it. So this, this is very sturdy. It's not flimsy at all. And this is sturdy as well. And I like that they put a cute little heart in here. Um, I was gonna say, is this cracked? Is that a crack in there? Anyways, it still works, but um, I don't think it's a crack, but it kind of looks like it's cracked, but it was only 18, 19 cents. So it still works. So you stick it back in there to protect your hands because it is really sharp and really pokey. And this is a nice sturdy handle. So if you want to make uh, slicing onions easy and um, what's the word orderly where they're all the same, then this is something that you might be interested in buying. And again, if you're buying any of these things, wait, um, shop around and wait till they mark them down because you can get the, a lot of these items for pennies on the dollar. Now this item here, another kitchen item, and this is uh, this is something for when you just need to do a quick mix of something and you don't want to pull out a whole big appliance. Let's see, do I have a box here? So you take it, you take something and just sit it on there and you mash it. Like if you need to mix some eggs real quick, you just want to mix it up. You don't need a big mixer. So you put your eggs in the bowl, put that in the bowl 
and just do, I don't wanna hurt my hand, but you just mash down like this on the top and it automatically gives you that instant little mix. So this is definitely gonna come in handy if you're making a little sauce or something, um, eggs, uh, you wanna whip some, uh, maybe some milk, try to make a whipped cream or anything that you wanna kind of fluff up or just get a nice little quick mix in without worrying about electricity and you just wanna use some hand power, get one of these, keep it handy, and you won't regret it. Again, prices on all these made it hard for me to not buy these items because they're so affordable and I know they're functional and that I will use them. And again, I'm a gadget girl. It's like that side of me is waking up thanks to Timmel. Or maybe not thanks to Timmel, I don't know. But this next item looks like this. And what this is, is this. They come in, no, they don't come in any sets. I think I just bought four of them. But there's two pieces like this. There's the hook and then there's the, there's the hanger and then here's the hook. And you stick this in there like that and then it twirls around. So when I wash my uh, delicates, like my underwear, my bras, or anything delicate that I need to air dry, I wanted something that would be sturdy and that would hold them. See how tight that is? And that uh, wouldn't break. The little hang hangers that I normally use that have the little clothespins attached to it, the clothespins always end up breaking off. So I figure I get four of these. So there's four, four, four. So that's 16 items that I can now hang up and not have to worry about um, a little clothespin breaking off because it has the hooks to hold them on very securely. Good quality. These were also pennies on the dollar. So that's why I got four of these. Okay, let's move on. Let me pull some more items out and I'll be right back. Okay, here's that second spray bottle. I am hoping it is a mist. I'm saying spray. It says spray but I'm hoping it is a mister so that I can use one for my hair. Just water, that's all for my hair to moisturize my hair. Now this next item, if you have a lot of computer, electronic type stuff that, you know, in this day and age, a lot of us have things that need to be charged. If you're a gadget person like me, I'm trying to open this. If you're a gadget person like me and you're buying all these neat little items that make life convenient or just make you have more stuff that you don't need however it goes um this is something that's uh gonna be wonderful to have especially on your computer desk because it has seven uh, usb ports and then what i really like about this one number one was the price amazing price for something like this because i bought them on amazon and for the price that I paid for this one, you're not gonna find one at that price on it. Oops, did I say that name? For you, <laughs> you're not gonna find it on that other site. Um, but also, they each have their own power button on and off. So that's why I really like this one too, because when you have something like this and you plug it in and you have multiple things plugged into it, you don't want them all live and all on. You wanna be able to turn them on as you need them, but you also want the convenience of being able to have them plugged in. So that's why I like this one, especially because you've got so many of them and then you have the light indicator. So when it is on, you'll know with the on and off button. So to me, these are the best kind to buy for these um, USB hubs. And having seven in one swoop is pretty doggone good. Now I'm noticing if I'm missing a cord, maybe not, I hope not, but there's one USB that goes into the computer and then it's gonna make all of these live. But I saw this hole here. I'm hoping that that doesn't go in, the, there's nothing that needs to hook into that. I'm just noticing. But I'll read the description again because it only came in this bag. So hopefully that's not a glitch in this or else I'll have to probably send it back if I needed something that didn't come with it or get what I need. Now the next item I bought was, this is a for your tub or shower or sink, wherever hair goes down a drain that you want to catch. That's what this is for. It's a nice big size. I personally got it for my shower and my tub. 
so that I can put it on top of the drains because it's so big. Um, it gives me enough coverage to cover the whole thing. It comes with the, oh, let me just open one for you because I also got it in white. I got two in white and then I got two in gray. And they have suction, little suction knobs that attach to them that will allow you to put them in your sink or shower or tub. So it's like this, one flat piece. And then it comes with these four little suction. Oops, 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 I knew that was gonna happen. I lost one, but I see it, hold on, because I don't wanna wait. Okay, so basically, I like to try and show you how this stuff works. So if you buy it, you know, you know, if this is something you wanna deal with or not, but they just stick right into the hole right here. Like that. And then there's one. You guys know how to do this, right? It's pretty simple, but you know, it's always good to demonstrate. Sometimes it's good to do stuff like this because you find out if something is broken or not, or if it's not what you thought it was, or if you didn't get the pieces that you needed. But in this case, they all come with these four little suction cups, and then you just suction it to the area you needed to prevent uh, hair from going down. If you, you could use it in your kitchen sink, I imagine, and it would stop big chunks of food if you needed it to do that as well. But um, like I said, I got it for my shower and my tub for when I'm soaking in the tub, soaking my feet in the tub or just soaking my body or just for whatever reason. So I got four of these. Okay, so the next item um, is this. Now, when I saw, <laughs> I was showing Janae some of this stuff and I was trying to have her guess what she thought it might be. And when she saw this, it was funny to me because I think she said um, she guessed tissue or something like that. It was something funny, but you kind of had to be there. But what it actually is, and I haven't used it yet, but I'm excited to use it. And I think I'm gonna use one tonight after this video, but it is a toilet bowl cleaner. And it smells nice. It smells just like a toilet bowl cleaner. It's just a little sheet, a very thin sheet. You put it in your toilet and get your brush and smush it around and you clean your toilet. Is that not cool or what? And you get 30 pieces in here, I believe. I think there's 30 pieces in here. And look at how small that is. So you don't need all those big bottles of toilet bowl cleaner in your cabinet. You can just have one of these in each bathroom and just pull out a sheet when you need to clean it and clean it and be done with it. I thought that was pretty cool and it has a nice scent as well. This next item is definitely something I needed to have in the kitchen. And this is something to protect your hands when you're cutting up uh, vegetables. So if you're a sous chef or you have a sous chef, it's a metal stainless steel looks like a piece of warrior jewelry, <laughs> but it's not. You put it, um, you stick it on your hand like this and you put your fingers behind it. So when you're chopping now, you don't have to worry about cutting your hand. So you can get as close as you need to and always be safe and no emergency trips to the hospital because you were chopping and not paying attention and cut your finger. So I got one of these for me and one for Janaea because she just shared with me today, ironically enough, that one of her fears when she's cooking, she says, I don't like to look away when I'm chopping up. She, she was making a salad. She says, when I'm chopping up things, I don't like to look away. It scares me, but she said, because I always feel like I'm gonna cut my fingers. So, and that was, I had already bought these and she had just happened to say that tonight. So that was pretty funny that she would say that. Now this next item here is for the kitchen. And I'll tell you what I liked about this spoon because I don't really need another spoon, but I didn't have one like this. And this one was 38 cents or somewhere in that area, something very affordable. But you see how it scoops up. It's kind of like that rice, uh, that rice. Oh, let me move this out the way. 
okay it's kind of like that rice bowl where let's say you have some soup or something and you want to scoop it up you scoop it up like that but you don't want all the juice that comes in it so you just tilt it to the side and then you have like all the food part and all the extra juice if you, you don't want the excess juice you pour it out so this is great for like soups or if you're scooping something out of the sink even like let's say you just washed some vegetables that has small pieces or something and you wanted to get the remaining of it out you could just scoop it like that and then take what you need out so that was a, a great deal this is a great deal for just pennies on the dollars it is a plastic um, but it's pretty sturdy and i think it's a great idea and a great item to have in your kitchen now this next item here looks weird it looks like a humpback brush this is for can you guess can you guess what it is used for now i just showed you i'll show you again what do you think this brush is for it is a specific item that you clean with this all right i'll tell you it's for the toilet so you know how you have to clean and you have to go underneath the toilet the rim of the toilet if you want to get a good clean without touching your hand so it allows you to do that because of this hump in there and then you can turn it over also for other little hard to reach areas but specifically it's to clean up under the rim of your toilet so i thought this was great to have because who likes to clean that anyways and you definitely don't want to use your hand i know i don't so i thought this brush is a must again pennies on the dollar all right what do we have here this it's a set of four, which I thought was awfully, awfully generous to get four of these items. Let's see, they're all gray, with the exception of one is pink. Interesting. I wonder if I bought these individually? Oh no, I'm sorry, they're not all pink. My lighting is a little... Okay, I see a pink, a green, this is gray, and I believe this is also gray. Yeah, that looks gray. And that looks gray. So I think you get two gray. I kind of want to say this is light blue. It might be blue, green, pink, and gray. I think that's what it is. But what they are is... This is what it looks like. It's adhesive on the back and they're little uh, handles. So if you have like, you wanna put your key somewhere when you come inside the house, you know, little light items where you need to sit something. You can do this for your bathroom and put a wash rag on this side, one on that side. And then, um, I don't know, something else on this side, things that need to hang in your bathroom. You can stick it next to your mirror if you have like a makeup brush or something that you use a lot and you just need an area, small area to store it. That's what this is for. It's a, the adhesive is on the back so you don't have to put any holes in the wall. And it's not for anything super heavy, but nice little light things that you could, um, that you need to sit and keep handy somewhere where you just need quick and easy access to them so i feel like everybody has a need for something like this in their home um, after you wash up if you want to put your wash right you could even put it in the shower and put like a hair scrunchie on it um a brush or a comb you can let it hang from there after you shower you know items that you use regularly a razor or anything to that you know of that nature you could use these for that you just have to again always think outside of the box because even though these are designed to do one thing you know there are always other uses that you can find in most cases to use these items with now this one is along the same lines this came in a set of three and i only have two out here right now but there i have another set and this is kind of like the same thing but different what they are is they're also adhe adhesive on the back it comes with it it's not stuck on there already and then you stick like a towel 
a wash rag. It's pretty, you know, a dish rag. You can put this in the kitchen. You can put this in your bathroom. You can put it in your laundry room. Anything that you need to stick a piece of fabric. Like, where's my, oh, here we go. Here's my cleaning cloth for my glasses. So let's kind of demonstrate that real quick. So if I wanted to have this right here in my office, oops, boy. If I wanted to have this right here in my office area, stick it on the wall. If I wanted to keep this handy to, to wipe my glasses off or to clean my computer screen or whatever I need to wipe off, I could put this on the wall somewhere or even on the back of my computer, wherever I feel it would be convenient. And then I would just stick this in there like that and it holds it. So that's how this works. And when you're ready for it, you just pull it out. So you can stick a little piece, you can stick a lot of it in there like that. And you can do wash rags, dish rags, towels. Um, and I think the reason why the adhesive wasn't already on it is because if you turn it around, you see there's a hole. So you could probably screw this into the wall if you wanted to use it for something even stronger than just a wash rag. So that's kind of cool. Now this is supposed to be pink. It looks more like a orange to me. And then I also got them in a set of gray. I don't know if they're in this order or if they're in another order, but they came in a set of three. And here's two of my three. So yeah, that's definitely gonna be handy and neat to have around. The next item is this little, what do they call this? It's like a fruit, I think they called it a fruit. Oh, it says ceramic peeler, kitchen good helper. <laughs> kitchen good helper, a ceramic peeler. Now, what is ceramic about this? I'm not sure. Maybe just cause it says it on there because this is actually plastic. Uh, how do I, is it open? Is it an easy way to open it? No, I don't have any scissors. This is that kind of plastic that's sealed, but this is not ceramic, but it is plastic. It's, do I have some scissors here? You know what? I can get some real quick. Hold on. Let me pause the video and I'll be right back. Okay. I got some scissors. Like how you gonna be in a craft room? and stuff all around you. And I have some scissors to open up the package. Not acceptable. So I had to fix it. Okay, so this is what it looks like on the back. And it basically is a little set if you're cutting vegetables. This will go great with this item right here. This will make a great gift for someone actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Um, but this was only 99 cents, you guys. 99 cents, if I'm remembering correctly, but I will put I will put um, the picture on the wall. The picture on the wall, wow. I will put a picture up on the screen <laughs> that uh, gives you a description of what it is. So let's go ahead and take this out. I don't want anything to fall. Okay, so I got it out of there. So this is what the board looks like. It's thin, but it's pretty sturdy though. It's not like wood, but it's pretty sturdy. It's a cute little size, like a maybe a five by seven picture. And this like has a hole that you can poke this out if you wanted to hang it on something. And then the other pieces that came with this is this little knife. It's kind of like a paring knife. Feels pretty sharp. Let me be careful here. Feels pretty sharp and it has a little cover. Put the cover on. So it sticks in the cover. And then it also comes with a vegetable peeler or a fruit peeler, like for cucumbers. Now this is pretty thin and light. It's not gonna last forever, I don't think, but you know, for 99 cents to get this whole little three piece set, four piece set, one, two, three, four. Can't beat that, can't beat it at all. And it is sharp, so you do have to be careful um, when using this. So that's not bad. I got two of these and uh, I think the other one, which ooh, it's in that box somewhere, it's coming. Ooh, this is sharp, hold on. That little peeler thing is sharp, but I don't wanna cut myself. Okay, so the other one I believe is either pink or purple. So I'll show it to you, obviously, when I pull it out. 
Now this is something, this is kind of like the uh, health and beauty item. And what these are basically are wristbands, but they're designed to be worn when you're washing your face. If you're giving yourself a facial or maybe just wash your hair and you're combing your hair and your hands get wet and you don't want it to run all the way, you don't want the water to run all the way down your hand so this catches it. So these are kind of like makeshift towels, if you will. Um, but they feel just like the, the headband when you put them on your head to hold your hair back. It's, it feels soft and cushy like that. So you can buy this along with one of those headbands with a big bow, like if people are doing facials or doing their makeup or just holding their hair back for whatever reason. These go well with that if you pair them, no pun intended, but you can pair them with one of those items and make a great gift for someone or just keep it in your bathroom and you can make life a little bit easier for yourself the next time you're in a situation where you need something like that. Now this is a set of dish towels or dish wash racks for the kitchen or dish towels. I think they're too small to be a towel, but they're a great size to be a wash rack for the kitchen to wash your dishes. And they come in a set of five and they are gray on one side and mint green on the other side. I got another set um, that is, I think it's green on one side and pink on the other side. So I, I think it's in this box. When I come across it, I'll show you that one as well. But what I want to say, I was leery about buying these at first because I thought they were going to be that microfiber material that I don't like, that kind that feels very staticky and it feels like it doesn't really absorb water. It almost feels like it's made out of plastic and not cloth. And I hate those. So I'm glad because when I open this, it's soft. It's going to absorb water. It's very soft. It's very soft. I really like how soft they are. I'm trying to describe what it feels like. It's not felt. It's soft, but you can feel that it's going to be a good rag. I don't know what material to call it. But whatever it is, I like it. And I want it to replace all of my old kitchen rags with these because you get a set of five and because I can have a set of uh, dish rags that look the same and not all mismatched. So I want to swap out the mismatchers and replace them with these. And I actually think I can do that now because I actually like these. I thought they were again going to be that real staticky micro soft type of fabric that I don't like. So I'm glad I took a chance on them and found out that I'm going to like these and I look forward to replacing them with the ones that I currently have in my kitchen. Now this next item is, and I got two of these. This is a bag. It's a waterproof bag that opens up like that. Now this is similar to my bra and panty bag that I hauled in my very first, I think it was my very first haul in the one that Timu sponsored. And it was the same color, but this one is not for organizing bras and panties. It has a handle like that one does, but what this one is, it zips open. Let's see if I can. All right, hold on, the zipper needs to be, un okay. So it zips open like this. Okay, here we go. It zips open like that, and this flap opens up. And it opens up into a container for you to put your, if you have a pair of wet shoes or just dirty shoes, but uh, wet or dirty shoes, or just a pair of shoes that you want to pack with your clothes, maybe you have an overnight bag, and you have a pair of workout shoes that you don't want to get, that you don't want rubbing up against your clean clothes in your suitcase. Or if you went to the beach and you had a pair of thongs or flip flops that had a lot of sand in it and you didn't want that to get everywhere, this is what that is designed for. Of course, you could use it for whatever 
You want it if you had some wet rags, some wet towels, anything wet. It's uh, waterproof and that's the, the biggest selling point on it. And then it's self-contained so that you can keep it separate from your other items and not have to worry about getting the other items wet or dirty depending on what you're using that for. Now this next item is something that I can never have enough of and that is a sunglass case. I always have a lot of sunglasses but not a, a lot of cases to put in them. And this one is just a simple flat pleather case like that and this lifts open. It's just a little hole that fits over that knob. Opens up like that and it's pliable. So if you need a sunglass case, you know, it definitely smells like pleather. <laughs> but, um, and here's the sides. It looks like it's pretty well made. It's interesting on the sides how they connect. But they just kind of fold into each other. So yeah, that's kind of cool. So it gives you a little width. And I think it's a good size for today's glasses. Like, here's my reading glasses that I probably should be wearing right now but you can see how much room this has over these little glasses. Like if I stick them in here, there's way more room, see? It's like, it just swallows them up. So if you have a big pair of glasses, like a lot of these fashionista glasses that they're making today, these will probably accommodate them nicely. The only thing is they're not hard, it's pliable, so it's not a hard case. But um, still, nonetheless, it's good to have a case and it fits in your purse so you will have some form of protection um, for your glass. Okay, okay, have you guys seen anything that you like so far? If you have, leave me a comment and let me know if any of these items uh, you thought were cool and you might be interested in buying so far. All right, moving on, I had to pull some more items out. This is the second ceramic little fruit peeler, ceramic peeler set is what they call it. This is the one in pink, like the green that I opened up. So this is, this will make a great gift actually for a housewarming. Um, of course, it's not super expensive, but you know, it'll hold someone over in the interim, but I think it's gonna come in handy for cutting uh, vegetables and things around the house in the kitchen when we are both in there, we meaning Jenea and I, and we're, you know, looking for something to cut with and chop. There's going to be plenty to go around now. Now this next item, another great deal for pennies on the dollar. This is also for the kitchen. And what this is, it's for, it's a, I would call it a spoon ruster. <laughs> something to rest your spoons on when you're cooking your dirty spoons so that you don't dirty up your counter and your stove. So you sit this on your stove and you just, you know, you lay your forks and spoons. Where's that thing? Oh, oh, you get the idea. You lay them on here so it can catch all the soups and, I mean the soups, it can catch all the food, the drippings is what I'm trying to say. The drippings from the spoon, if you're cooking soup, sauces, your spatulas, you can just rest it on here. But what's also great about this is this lifts up over here. This lifts up and then now you can take a lid and lean it. So if you're cooking and you're checking to see if something's done and you go, let me see, like make sure these hangers. So you wanna go and steer something up and then so you take the lid and you can sit it right here. You can take the lid and sit it right here to the pot and then you can steer it, mix it up, check it. And then when you're done, you can stick the dirty spoon on this side. So you keep your counter clean, you keep your stove clean, and you have somewhere to put your lid when you need it, or you can just leave that down. So this was a great item to have for the kitchen. I am a clean as you go cook. So this idea I like, and look at how big it is. You can get a few spoons, spoons. You can get a few <laughs> spoons and forks on here because it is so big. And they had other styles, other types that have little notches in it and whatnot. But I like this one because it doesn't um, 
force it to be something round in order to use it. It doesn't have a restriction as far as what you put on there. Anything will lay in this area versus the kind that had the little loops in it where it had to be something round. I didn't like that kind, but they had several options. This was probably 38 cents. I'll put it on the screen and you can see for yourself what I paid for. Now this next item I thought was really cute but honestly i thought it was bigger it came in the plastic bag by the way like this um i thought it was bigger than what it actually is it is a lunch pail but it's cute because it looks like a little purse so it zips up and that's what i like about it as well let me pook it out for you so it unzips and it's pretty wide. You can fit a pretty a good amount in here, but I still thought it was bigger, like taller. So if I open it up like that, it gives you an idea of how much stuff you can actually fit in here. So even though it is small, it does pack a punch. You know, you can get a good little lunch in here. And on the inside, it is insulated. It has a thin layer of insulation on the inside. So it will keep something warm or cool for a little bit, not forever, but it does have insulation. So I thought this was really cute and it was something like, I don't know, I think I paid like a dollar 28 cents. Um, what a great deal though, what a great deal. And they had other colors. So I got that. Now this next item is, I don't know how I'm doing on time, but I'm trying to go as quickly as I can. So I'm gonna have to cut at some point and revisit. Now this is a bonnet. Now this is a different type of bonnet that I'm buying because I've noticed the other bonnets that I buy that have the elastic part around here, that elasticity always wears off and I'm just getting sick and tired of it. I feel like the product makes it wears off, but this will always, I think this is, gonna do better for me because when you're using product oils and you know oily type products uh, shea butter cocoa butter whatever it is that you're putting in your hair that kind of has that oiliness to it um, it messes up those other kind the elasticity of the other kind and so it just shortens the lifespan of those so I think this is going to work much better and I'm looking forward to trying these out because I go through bonnets like crazy for that very reason. They don't last long. The elasticity just, as soon as they that product, you know, builds up a little bit on the cap and if you wash it, it doesn't help because it, it just breaks it down. I don't know, maybe it's something in the oils that just the, it, I don't know, maybe it's, it's murder or it's death on the um, elastic on those other bonnets, but I don't wanna buy those kind anymore. I feel like this kind is gonna work much better for me. Now this next item is really cute and I got it for me for when I wash my hair. Speaking of bonnets, what I like about it is it's so soft for starters. I don't know if you can just look at that. It'll give you an idea of how soft that is. And it's got this cute little bowl on the front. So when you wash your hair, I hate when I have towels on my hair and you have that little kind where you twist it and you stick it under there like that little hump. They always seem to want to loosen up and fall off. And then you got to keep fixing it and retightening it. But this, you don't have that problem. You just stick it on and let your hair, and it's kind of, it'll soak up the water also because that's the whole idea of it as well. And it will soak up, um, the water and it's not dripping all over you and again you don't have to worry about a towel that keeps needing to be adjusted and tightened so i was really looking forward to getting these because i gotta wash my hair soon and i hate dealing with those towels especially you know if i wash my hair in the shower and when i get out you know of the shower before i get to my hair i have to keep messing with the towel while I'm, you know, lotioning my body and doing that part, I don't want to have to worry about my hair falling out of that towel all the time. So that was definitely something I was excited to get, as well as these, which do the same thing. And I know this is probably, 
for a kid or something, but I just couldn't resist. <laughs> they work the same way. So the same idea, you put them on your head and you look like, you know, you just got a little teddy bear on your head, but he's keeping your hair dry and keeping it out of your way until you're ready to deal with it. And it is a soft fabric as well. That's not harmful on your hair, pulling on it, you know, wreaking havoc on your hair. It's still gentle um, to your hair. So I like that. So I had to get it in pink. <laughs> Why not? I think they were only like 88 cents each. The prices for those go up and down as well. So again, if you're gonna buy any of these items, shop around, come and go, come and go. They constantly raise prices, lower prices. So I'm on there enough. I watch, I'm a bargain hunter. If you know my channel, you know I shop for the best deal. So I'm always on there waiting for something to go down. I have my eye on something and I'm like, I know when to strike to get the best deal. Now they got me a couple of times on a few things, but for the most part, I'm winning. Now this next item comes in this bag and it is called the Hot Compress Towel. It's a little Ziploc bag and what it is, is if you like doing facials, then, or you don't even have to do a facial. If you just want to rest your eyes and put some heat on your face, you're gonna take this and put it in some hot water and then you're gonna take it and put it on your face and then loop these around your ears and then just relax. And I know I'm not the only one who would appreciate some relaxation. This is a great gift and I, I wish you could feel how soft this is. This is crazy soft. This is, oh my gosh, this is the softest soft on a towel I've ever felt for real. I mean, I wish you could feel this. That's all I can say. So you wet this and put it on your face and just lay down and relax and loop these around your ears get you some good rest and give your face a break. Give your mind, your body, your soul, your spirit some relaxation. This would be a great gift. I got two of these because I know that I'm going to like them. And if something happened to one, I know I got a backup. And I have uh, so many different masks that I want to get around to doing. And this is gonna go well with getting those masks uh, on my face. I want to try and do at least twice a week or at least once a week put do a mask on my face to keep my pores and everything cleaned out and my face moisturized. So when I saw this, I knew I had to have it. I can't remember who I saw haul this first, but I saw somebody's Timu haul and I wrote this down the minute that I saw it. I wish I could remember who I saw of this but there's just so many people doing it out there now I because I, I would love to give credit to who showed me this but anyways that's why I got it I couldn't when I saw it I knew I had to get that I got here's my second one of these for the kitchen so if you're cooking a whole lot and there's two people in there cooking and you got a bunch of dirty spoons and there's just backup to keep your kitchen area your countertop clean so you don't have sauce and all that stuff all over the place. There's nothing worse than a messy cook. I'm a clean cook. I like to clean as I go. I don't like to make a big mess. I like when I'm done, the kitchen pretty much to be clean. Now this one, this little frying pan. First of all, when I saw it, it looked bigger um, on camera. So when I got it, I was surprised. Now it's very well made. It was a great price, a great deal. I like it. It's just a lot smaller than I thought it would be. Like this handle, for example, I don't know what it's made out of, but it's very sturdy and it feels good and smooth in your hand. It's not gonna break. This is a good quality handle. And then the, um, the frying pan part, See how little it is? I mean, it's tiny, but it, it will do what it's supposed to do, but I just thought it would be bigger. But if you just want it to cook uh, little hamburger patties or little eggs in here that are all uniform and the same size, this is perfect for that. This is how thin it is. 
and the handle i just have the screw there so i don't lose it but the, the, it has to be screwed on so you put the handle on here first right here and then you got to stick the screw from the back and screw it in so i just have the screw there so it doesn't get lost um, so that I can keep it in the box. But it feels like a little, uh, mm, kind of like a cast iron type of uh, material. It's pretty, pretty sturdy. It's definitely sturdy for sure. All of it's sturdy. It's very well made. It's just smaller than I thought it would be. But I'm happy with it because I wanted it for when I uh, do my meal prep and I want to make. Uh, my hamburger patties and I want them to all be the same size or my eggs or whatever. I don't have to measure. I just use this pan and they all come out nice and even. So I know I'm getting the right amount of food and I'm not making them different wonky sizes, one big and one small, that type of thing. So I like the uniformity that this offers. Now, even though the box shows two different options, I didn't see this one, but this is the only one that I got. So that's the one that's in here. All right, two more things in this round. And actually just one, because I got another one of these little cute um, lunch bags. And then here's another style right here. And it's black and it says lunch bag. What does this say on the bottom? Brivillas, 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 whatever that means. But it says lunch bag and then Brivillas. I don't know who Brivillas is, but this is the same idea. Again, this is something that looks bigger in the picture. So sometimes they kind of get you with the pictures. You know, you, you, you see it and you think, oh, that's a good size. But I would check the measurements. Once you have a point of reference, then check the measurements moving forward. That way you won't buy something that you thought was a lot bigger. But again, it has a good width to it. And it's cute. It looks a little off shape right there. Let me see. Oh, hold on. It might be because it's just pushed in a little. Let me see that shape look a little off. Okay, that's a little better. But once, yeah, that's a little better. Once you fill it in though, um, it definitely can pack a few good goodies in here. You can get like a can of soda in there. You can get a, it's a good size, even though it's small. It's kind of misleading, but you can get quite a bit in here. And it is thin though, it's not thick. And if you just need something light for a short period of time to hold your food or something, and this would be perfect for that. But I also got these because I want to start organizing things in my house that I want to be in bags. So not necessarily using it for a lunch bag. So like if I wanted to put all of my electrical cords and chargers, little small things that I would want all in one place, maybe in a bunch of small containers, like make my own organizing things, but I want them to be able to be zipped up and kept in one place and you know label or whatnot i can put a label on here um and just do that so that was the other reason i kind of bought multiples of these bags because i have like in my craft room there's stuff where they're small items and i would want them to all to be all in one place in one container that would keep them clean dust free that type of thing and organized so these bags were such a great price i think they were all about a dollar 28 cents, something like that. So that's why I got so many of these little bags. And speaking of which, let's see what else I have in this box. Okay, this is the last group. I pulled everything out. This is the last group of stuff. So let's let's close this out. I think I can do this all in one video. I have no idea how long this has been going now, but this fan is making me cold. So let me turn that off. Um, okay, so let's keep it going because some of these items you've seen already, there's duplicates. I am big on buying two things if I like something. So speaking of which, this is my other mask, that little face compress mask. This is the other one. And this bag is even soft. This bag is as soft as that mask. That thing I am going to enjoy using. Here's my second one for the, uh, the hand protector for the kitchen safe cook is what it says on there um now this is a bag of shower caps 
when I uh, wash my hair and I um, have to condition it once a week, they look like this. It's a bag of 100 and these things don't last forever. And they're pretty small, but they open up like this. So this is how big they are. And this is perfect for a deep condition. They're nice and thin. You're not gonna get like a lot of usage out of them. You might get one or two, two uses out of it, but this is how they come. And you just pull them open like that. And then once you pull it open, it just opens up. So that, that is so new. They've always, I mean, when people find ways to make stuff like this, it always just, it's like, who thought of that? Like, that is so cool. But yeah, so I've got enough shower caps now to make sure my hair is moisturized and uh, washed and conditioned, deep conditioned for a good long time. Instead of wondering, do I have any more shower caps for my hair? Um, along those lines, this bag is something I had not seen before, and they are earmuffs. And what this is, it's the same idea. It's basically mini, uh, they look like this, they're shorter, and they're basically mini um, ear covers for your ears. So if you put color on your hair, or if you're just washing your hair and you don't want your ear to get wet and get water all up in it. You just put this around your ear, kind of like a shower cap for your ear. And they work the same way. You just pull it open like that. And it just becomes a little ear muff. And I believe there's a hundred of these in here as well. So just like a little mini shower curtain. You could probably use these in the kitchen if you had a small container that needed a lid over it, as well as the shower caps as well. So they are versatile. They can be used for other things, not just to cover your ears, but if you are putting dye on your hair, if you're coloring your hair, then that's great to put over your ears so you don't have to worry about getting uh, color all on your ears. Now this is, oh, okay, I know what this is. This is that, um, that organizer for your purse. If you are one of those women who switch purses a lot and you don't want to have to take everything out and put everything back in you take all your stuff you put it in these pockets there's two in the front and then there are two here at the top on this side the other side has one two three four along the bottom four along the top for cell phones lipsticks cigarette lighters um any type of makeup, blush, or whatever. And then they have two zippers here at the top. That one on one side, this one on the other, and then the main pocket. And in the main pocket, okay, there's nothing in the main pocket. So you put probably like your wallet in here, like your bigger items, wallet, sunglasses. Um, what else do you carry in a purse? Your cell phone, wallet, sunglasses makeup money whatever you've got options to put all that stuff around here and then it has the two handles so when you take when you're ready to switch your purse you just grab this whole thing and put it in your new purse and then you don't have to worry about forgetting anything i remember when these came out back in the day and it was a big deal it was a you know a big that's the other thing having said that i noticed that timu has a lot of things that were out you know back in the day they're like Re, reintroducing stuff to this younger crowd of people. But a lot of these things I see that I'm like, oh yeah, I remember those, or I remember that. So that was one of the items I remember when they first came out and it was a big deal. It was like, a, I think it was like an infomercial or something. And they probably sold a lot of them because there was nothing out there at the time like that. And um, so they kind of rekindled a lot of these things. Now here's another lunch bag or organizer bag, depending on what I'm going to use it for. You could use this to keep pencils in, crayons, you know, all sorts of things, not just for lunch, but that's what this one looks like. And they do have a pocket in the front, this one and that black one that I showed you earlier. Um, I'll just show you again, in case you didn't see the first one. Cook it out a little bit for you. And then it has the insulation. It's thin, it's not super heavy duty. It says the same thing on the front. Uh, 
Bravilla's lunch bag. Same thing on the front. Cute little raccoon face or teddy bear or panda. I don't know. I think it's a panda. Panda bear? Probably panda. I think China. Um, but yeah, it's got a lot of great storage in there just like the other one. So I have a problem of buying things in twos. But I use my stuff though. I use them so. Now what's next here? Next item we have this is something I think this is something that I think I'm definitely going to send back. And this is supposed to, oh no, I take that back, my bad. This is, <laughs> this is for your heels. So if you have crusty heels or if you have nice soft heels and you wanna keep them that way, or if you have crusty heels and you wanna make them soft, these are the little heel socks and you see that little gel part? When you put it on, you put that on your heels, like on the inside, like that. So if this is my heel, you want that gel part to be resting on my your heel like that to keep it soft and you would uh, use it in conjunction with maybe some oils or lotions or something so that you can keep it moisturized. It's packaged this way so that this part can stay protected, I guess. But that's what these are. And then you just slide your foot in here and make sure your heel is covered in that gel area to keep them soft. So that's what these are for. I bought a, a pair of these through Amazon and I really liked them. And so when I saw them on here, I'm like, oh, you know, that's a great thing to have another pair of. So that's why I got these. Now, almost done, almost done. Here is another bonnet, I believe, in cranberry, this nice cranberry co color. So I like that, I'm looking forward to using it. I really like this color, actually. So I'm really happy about using these new uh, types of bonnets. This part is a lot thinner than most, but that's okay, because it's hot now and it's gonna be hopefully more breathable. But this is the part that I'm most excited about is this band. And I'm hoping this stays very taut the way it is and it doesn't loosen up too much like the other ones that I've purchased. And I feel like these are more comfortable because that elastic band just is not as comfortable, especially when it's new and it's kind of tight around your head. So hopefully these won't be like that right off the bat. Now these are just something I bought utility wise just to have in my office or in my utility area, just in case I need them for something. You never know, but they're, um, they're hooks. I mean, they're little clips or clamps and they have hooks on them. So if you need to clamp something and, and hold it up, let me see, this thing is tight. Okay, see how they open up like that? Let's say you needed to hold something and you needed a few clamps. And you need these to hook across something. This just, they just seem like something handy to have. I actually thought that these were bigger than what they are, but I believe you get about 30 of these in this container, 20 or 30. And they were just like a buck or something. So I thought, I know I can find, I'm going to have a use for these, especially being a crafter, something's gonna come up and I'm gonna be like, I need a small hook so that I can hold this and hook it right there. So I already know how I work and that's why I got those. I will definitely be using them for something. Now this item right here, you guys, I bought two of these on Amazon. I keep saying that name, but I did. I bought them on Amazon and I'm sending them back because when I saw these, for one tenth of the price, I couldn't believe it. I needed these and I've been looking for one. I'm like, I need a knife sharpener. And so I finally found one. I, I told myself, go ahead and find one, go ahead and get one. So I finally went to Amazon, found one. And I said, well, I need two because I need one for my gardening tools and I need one for my kitchen knives. And so I found two and I was happy with them and I thought that I had got them for a great price. 
And then here comes Timu and I'm searching and searching, buying all this stuff. And I see this pop up for 58 cents. Can you, 58 cents for this? I was like, no way. And I had to get two of these. So the ones from Amazon are going back. Now I did get those for a good price for Amazon. I think they were like $5 each, but they're a regular price, maybe 10 bucks. But, um, cause there's a couponing group that I'm a part of. So I did get them at, you know, at a good price on Amazon compared to their regular price. But 58 cents, you know, I had to get two. You already knew that was definitely gonna happen. So yeah, this was the best deal so far on Timu in terms of price that I thought, you know, that I've come across. I mean, they're all great deals, but that one just blew me away, especially because the other two that I had and what they were selling regularly for, I'm like, wow. But this isn't always, I think the most I've seen it for is $2.38, something like that. So it's still a good deal if you don't even get it for 58 cents. It's still a great deal. And the other two, the boxes look just like this. They're red and white. Potentially they're the same manufacturer, the same maker. I wouldn't be surprised. Now this next item, and we are almost finished you guys with this big old huge box. I can't believe it. But this next item is this pink little uh, makeup bag. Let's see. Now this is not a lunch pill. <laughs> this is like a, a little makeup bag. I can get it to, I like to show you the size of it if I were to poop it out a bit. So this is that cute little, if you're just going away for a little weekend trip and you need to put your little toiletries in here, especially if it's like the toiletries where you put in the small bottles because you can't take larger sizes now. If it's a trip where all that is, well, if it's a trip where all that is required, is that small amount then this is perfect it's cute i like the little uh litter design does it say anything actually mm, it doesn't say anything it doesn't look like words to me it's just o-z-e-n it could say something but in my world it's just gibberish <laughs> but it's cute it's got the handle across the top and Again, it zips, has two zippers on either side, but then it has on the inside little slots for you to put makeup brushes or comb and brush, whatever you want to put here. And it holds it across the top and then the pocket inside. And also along the edge, you can put something there. Yeah, so it's not super, it's pliable. It's pliable because it makes it easy to just fold down and put away when you're done. So that's kind of cool as well. So I got this, and there's another little bag that I got in one of the other orders that goes with this, but it, I didn't get it in this order because it probably wasn't offered at the time that I bought it. So again, that's the thing. Timu, if you keep going back, you might see keep seeing additional things that you wanna buy. All right almost done almost done now these were items that uh for your oral my oral hygiene um i bought these to go along with my uh, electric toothbrush and my electric water pick thing i wanted to get a good tongue cleaner for myself and i got one for Janea. and these are a nice big sturdy size i've never really used one this big before but um looking forward to using them to see if they make a difference um, we are doing intermittent fasting so uh, it's good to keep your tongue clean as your body is releasing toxins and you can tell when that's happening when your tongue turns white it has a coat of white coating of white on top of it so it's good to have those just to scrape it brush your teeth keep your mouth fresh and all that and keep your body cleansed now the last few items here is now this one right here this is where i say they got me a few times on the prices but it wasn't huge so this right here is the little cute jewelry box now when i first saw people hauling these i feel like they were only something like 88 cents i mean they were something really really low 
like I feel like they were less than a dollar. Could be wrong, but I feel like they were. But when I bought these, and I'll open it up because they're very cute. They're very sturdy. Um, I got these for a dollar forty-nine. Now let's see here. Is this? Oh, okay. Hold on. How does this go? Okay, I know it. Oh, okay. Here we go. Just due to shipping, they just kind of moved apart. Okay. So this is how it fits in there. So you got this side for your rings. You can put whatever in these, in these four areas, this little pocket here, and maybe some bracelets here. And this is pretty, a little metal sturdy type of uh, hook right there. Very cute. And it zips up so it's a little jewelry box that will protect your jewelry while you're traveling or just while you're at home and you want to put special jewelry in here to keep it safe and protect it. Um, so this one, when I bought these, the cheapest I could find it for at the time was a dollar and 49 cents and then it went up from there. But I know when I first saw them, um, they I feel like they were like 88 cents or something. Now, as I'm filming this video, they are a dollar and eight cents. So just to give you an idea of how the prices vary. And it's like, I feel sometimes like they playing games, <laughs> but um, I also got it in white. And this is what the white one looks like inside. Like that. They're all the same once you see them. They come in white. Uh, I've seen them in cream, black, red pink blue like a teal so about six or seven colors they come in and they're all pretty much the same so i got mine for buck 49 but right now what's today today is tax day actually and uh that was uh, april 18th so they are a dollar and eight cents and i don't know how long it's gonna last but if you're interested, then you might want to check it out. And the other thing too that I found out on the uh, Timu um, site, once you place your order, when you're going to buy, oops, sorry, again, I keep hitting you guys. When you're going to buy any of these items, just keep in mind, you have to have a minimum $10 order. I, that I didn't know until I started ordering, but that was so easy for me to do. But just in case you don't know that, you have to have a minimum $10 order. So with that minimum $10, you can get quite a bit of things. So that's not the end of the world. The last two items is this right here. I bought four of these. And these are those, um, uh, what do you call them? They're fabric organizer containers to put your, like your, comforter sets in or your sheets or whatever you know you want to store away they're pretty big I can't show you the full width and size of it because I'm in this little cramped space but I want to give you an idea because you know when you do your spring cleaning and you're moving different um, wardrobes around you could use this and they have a handle on the side <laughs> Let me see if I can show you properly because it's kind of huge. They've got two handles on the sides here. I can't even see right here, two handles. And then they have the window plastic in the front so you can see what's in here. And these are in navy blue. And I think they were $1.28 each. I'll have to check and see what I paid for them. But I think there was something along the lines of a dollar and twenty-eight cents. So I got four of these because I do have, you know, blankets and things like that in my linen closet, and they're in there fine. But I just like stuff to be enclosed in something because, you know, I just feel like at night critters come out and you don't know who's been what's been walking around your stuff i just like my stuff in something zipped up and contained so when i saw those that's why i got those and anything that's in a cabinet like that that's going to be sitting for a minute or two i would prefer it to be in something like this instead of just 
in there on its own. So that's what I've got those for. Now the last thing I purchased was this item for the kitchen. And I already had one and I had been wanting one for a while. The one that I finally got, um, I like it, but it the color of it doesn't allow you to see what's on there. And I'll show you what I mean in a second. But this is kind of what I originally saw, but I wasn't able to get it because, why didn't I get it earlier? Oh, because I was looking on Amazon and I didn't want to pay what Amazon was asking for. And this was before I even knew anything about Timu. So I was just kind of watching to see if the price was gonna go down. And this is actually the one that I wanted, the exact one. And let me show you what it is. It's for my cook, my little cooking table. It's the little silicon sheet that gives you the measurements for like a pie dough, uh, cookie sizes. It's got rulers and everything. It's got measure. What does that say? Measure magnet? Is that what that says? Measure magnet. But it tells you, you know, one cup equals this, one teaspoon, tablespoon, whatever. Um, so it just gives you a lot of little cooking tips and the ruler across the top if you needed to know how long something was. So I had wanted one of these. It is, a, it is silicone and it sits in your kitchen on your cooking area or baking area so that you have all this information handy. Well, I ended up buying one, finding one on Amazon, and it actually matched the color of my wood tabletop, my little bake area. But you can't read all the indications on there because the color, even if I take it off of my wood, it's just, it's so neutral. You can, you have to put something white behind it in order to read it. So I like it though, because it matches my kitchen, but it's not really, functional but I like having that big silicone mat on that on that bake my uh, baking tabletop so when I and that one I paid just to put it in perspective probably seven or eight dollars and that was a good finding a good deal on it this one was a dollar and 38 cents something along those lines sometimes I'm off with what I say but I believe it was like a dollar 38 cents. It could have been cheaper. It could have been maybe a few pennies more, but compared to what I paid for the one that I have already, incredible. What an incredible deal. And this is actually the one that I will use because I can read it. And the other one, it's so, it's so close to the color of my tabletop. Like I said, I have to put a piece of white paper underneath it in order to read the markings on it. So to avoid all of that, I just got this one and now I can just have a mat with the other one to keep on, on my tabletop to use. But this one I can actually use for functionality. So you guys, if you are still here and you made it to the end, then thank you so much. I hope that you enjoyed this super duper long lengthy haul of stuff but i've been holding this for so long trying to get to the point where i can haul everything and share it with you guys because i want to start using it but i wanted to haul it first so let me know what items you found interesting what items that you would purchase and which item you thought was the greatest deal for me i thought this was an amazing deal i thought this was the best deal of the day was this one right here so do you agree with that or did you think something else here was a, a great deal the prices that i'm going that i paid for all of these items is what i'm going to put at the bottom but the pictures that i'll put of all these items is what they are currently selling for just to show you again how the prices can fluctuate depending on when you go on the site and order so I think I've talked your ear off enough tonight. I've shown you enough stuff to give you a good idea, an overview of a lot of the goodies that Timu has to offer. So if you are interested in purchasing any of these items, then let me give you my um, discount code. So if it's your first time, then you can uh, save 30% off of your first order. Now, as I said, this is not a sponsored um, haul 
by Timu. I bought all this with my own money, but I am a part of their affiliate program and I do have a code that you can use to save 30% if it's your first time. So let me get that code for you and I'll be right back. Okay, so here's my code. It's OPT43129. You can use that code to save 30% off of your first order if you are a first time Timu purchaser. If you are interested in becoming an affiliate in the Timu affiliate program, you can make up to $20,000 per month. You can earn a $5 bonus every time someone signs up to become an affiliate. I'm going to have that link in my description box under affiliate link. And if you click that link, it'll take you to the page where you can sign up to become an affiliate and instantly earn $5. And you'll also get your own uh, discount code that you can pass on to people as well. Um, you don't have to make videos all the time. You can do posts, you can do shorts, you can just do little advertisements and put your link in there. You don't even have to be in front of the camera. You can be creative in how you use it and start earning a passive income. I've made an extended video about this whole Timu affiliate program, which will come up at the end of this video. So if you're interested in all the details of how that program works, go ahead and click on that. But again, here's my code OPT43129 to at least save you 30% on the already marked down prices of 90% and more. And well, you can't really get more than that, but 90% um, of a markdown on a lot of these products. You saw the prices that I paid, so that just puts it in perspective for you. And again, if you're interested in the affiliate program, watch my video that's linked at the end and go ahead and click my link to go ahead and sign up and get started earning a passive income, great pocket money, and while enjoying getting good things for yourself as well. So with that, I'm going to close it out and say thanks for watching. Have a great day and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.